Hi everybody, this is Roland, Barbecue Smoker Pros, and we have one of our top pit masters. Sir, what's the name of your company, sir? Chow Dog Barbecue. Fantastic. And your name, sir? I'm Marty. And Marty, I know you have like, you do Metro Atlanta, and you go up to Virginia, so you have like two locations, correct? Yeah, I do down in uh, Central Georgia, uh, Central Macon, Macon, Middle Georgia, uh, Macon area. I come and we'll travel to it, uh, Metro Atlanta, but yeah, I go back and forth to Virginia, which is my hometown. And I know you're doing this full time and you're, you're knocking it out, so I super appreciate that. We had talked when we met you and I two, three years ago about a concept that somebody came to me about, and, and it's about the high-end car dealerships. And about if you're going to cook good food, exactly. I mean, I hate to say it, you got to find people that will pay you for your services. Right. And you cook great food, and you know you got to get paid. Yeah. So tell us a little about this car dealership stuff. Okay. Well, the the concept, and when we had this conversation, which was a couple years ago, uh, I got just for a background, I got 20 years food service experience in the military. I got over a decade of catering experience. So I didn't want to be one of those roadside chefs, no disrespect to those guys, you know, they food trucks, they do a certain purpose. But my, with my culinary background, I wanted kind of a, a high-end client because I'm transitioning to a personal chef. Right. So one of the things we talked about was how to uh, strategically partner with, you know, uh, clients, high-end clients. And how do you find them? How do you find how, them? That's the question everybody always says, how do you find them and how do you part with them? Right. So go you ahead. Had, you had a concept with approaching uh, luxury car dealerships. Mercedes-Benz, Lexus, Lexus, Jaguar, exactly. Range Infinity. Rover, Infinity. Yes. So I took your advice and I approached a uh, Infinity dealership in my in my area. It was an easy conversation. I asked you if I could speak with the general manager. They said, what is this regarding? I gave him my card. <laughs> food. It's about food. Yeah. 15 <laughs> minutes later, uh, I was sitting in front of the general manager. I said, hey, listen. Uh, I would like to offer my services for your uh, customer appreciation day or, or maybe you want to do something for your staff you know would you be open to that concept and I have my grill parked outside you know we walked outside to go look a look at it right so you got to show up prepared for battle you got to yeah, have exactly. your grill your chefs I, I would call jacket on you know business cards you got to be a professor go ahead Sorry, exactly sir. he uh, he looked at the grill which was more of a conversation of pizza than anything and then he was like he it sold itself right because he thought about the concept well I can free up some staff that's been cooking just burgers, you know, and hot dogs for these days. I can do something more. You can free them up. Free you them can up free them up and get a more extensive menu, you know, with, with your services. So we set it up, uh, executed it. They had a great time. Staff was happy. I gave out a lot of business cards to staff for private parties. And more importantly, this was an Infinity dealership. Right. The Lexus dealership down the street, <laughs> as I was packing up. They came over and flagged me down and saying, hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Do you have an exclusive contract with these guys? I was like, no, no, this is happening when, when they need me. I said, okay, we want to hire you. Yes. So and yes. I, I came by to say thanks. That is an awesome oh, no, concept. No. An awesome concept. I've had that customer as a client now for customer appreciations for almost three years now. Three years. Off that one intro. And I've done other dealerships in that area just based on that. Not to mention the amount of people that I've done catering jobs and private parties for. You know, I did a graduation for one of those customers that I met there. Right. I also did a family reunion for a customer that I met at the election dealership. Fantastic. So that was awesome advice. I feel like I should, I should give you a, a check, a referral check. No, no, no. Just, like just get, we want to help people out there. So basically, exactly. if you want to meet, a, no disrespect, a higher end clientele, you got to go where they are. Exactly. And if they're buying a Lexus or an Affinity for 70, 80, 90, $100,000, to pay you five thousand or ten thousand dollars for a family reunion is not that big of a deal. Exactly. So you would say they say this. So you could tell people out there one thing, not to be afraid. Oh no, no. If you uh, if you're in this line of work, you're service and customer oriented anyway. So you got to be a people person. You got to not be afraid to go out there and take your destiny in your own hands. You know because. All I can tell you is no. Go on to the next one. You know? And most times they tell you no, 
they may not be prepared right now and they think about it and call you back. So <laughs> a no just means they're not ready today. They're not ready today. Correct. So you yeah. still leave your card, your flyer, exactly. still bring them. When you have some leftovers, still bring them some samples because exactly. tomorrow could mm -hmm. be yes. Exactly. And uh, don't be afraid to take, take your, uh, some of your product. Cook off something, make your plate look really good. Go in there and say, hey, I'm new to the area. I'm a personal chef. Here's some of my stuff for your for your your, your staff. You know, some samples. Give some samples. Let them get a, 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 a taste of what they're are, are, are doing. And sometimes you can even barter with that. I've got my oil changed because I showed up. <laughs> That's right. With uh, yes, ten plates for the staff. Yes. And I didn't expect to get it for free. Right. But the manager was there. Was like, hey man, you don't put money out. You know what? This one's on me. Fantastic. Exactly. So if you do a good product and you and you stand behind your work, don't be afraid to go out there and get a higher end customer. You get more appreciation of that day. You know. Right. Uh, you know, it's more personal. It's in their backyard. You know, you do a good job. You get word of mouth advertising, which is the, which is the, some of the best out there because right. someone is recommending you. So uh, this is this is uh, the job to be in right now. It's a job to be in. You know, restaurants are having a hard time. God bless them. I pray for them all the time. Right. But when you're out here setting your own schedule, you know, and, you know, just like you, you, you got a good product, you put it online. I cook, I post, people call me, are you selling plates? Are you selling that? You know, Super Bowl is right this weekend. I got orders out the yin yang. So, hey, this is it. And, and I say this, and, and you're your own boss. You're writing chapter two of your life story. Yes, sir. When you're out there cooking, feeding people, they have a smile on their face, they're rubbing their stomach and saying, oh, this is so delicious. Does not make your day. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. That It's almost like instant gratification. Yeah. I, I love to see people eat my food and look back at me and say, that's some of the best I've had. That's or nice. when I see someone for a second and third time and they're coming back with friends. Yeah. You know, that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. I'm not stuck behind, you know. You're not in a cubicle. I'm not a cubicle. And, I, and, and, and not to get uh, chefs that's in the restaurant. Right. But you're behind the scenes. They're eating good food, but they don't know who did it. Right. They don't know who prepared it. Right. And they don't give you that gratification. Hell, they may tell the waiter, hey, that was good, but they might not get to you. Right. Because the, the chefs never come the, out the anymore. Never you come, never see exactly, them anymore. You never see them. That's you know? true. So this, I'm with the customer. I get a sense. I ask for honest feedback. You know, good, bad, or indifferent. You right. know, if you can't take correct the criticism, you know, don't get in this game. But I like to see people, hey, how was that? You know, you know, I like to, to, to follow up with them, you know, so... It is, it's, it's, I love it. I wouldn't be doing anything else. I haven't worked for anybody else but the clock since 2008. And I haven't since 2005. So God bless you. The name of your business, sir? Chow Dog Barbecue. It says C-H-O-W-D-A-W-G Barbecue. Chow Dog comes from Marines. I've been former Marine. Always a Marine. Well, you're always a Marine. Marine. Yeah. But Marines are called Devil Dogs. Yes. I was a devil dog that ran a chow hall. That's right. Hence, chow dog. So this is chow dogs barbecue. C H O W D A W G. I give homage to Georgia. D A W G. That's right. Chow dog barbecue. I mean, making Georgia. Fantastic. If they want to call you to a party, whatever, what, what's your best way to get in touch, touch with you? 844-844 dog. D A W G. Simple. 844-844. D A W G three four uh, nine two or three two nine four eight four four eight four four D A W G. Excellent. Have a wonderful day. God bless you. And you gave some really valuable, important information there. And you can agree with me. The job is to pass it forward. If you pass it forward, life just just is better. I'll say this one last thing. I've known Roland now for a couple of years, and I can always say that he is all about the customer he cares more about how we present ourselves more so than we do thank you you know so everything he does he does it with us in mind everything he builds he puts the, the, the extra oomph into it to make sure we're going to be better at our craft so to everybody out there that knows roland hey if you don't know him come and see him brasson in georgia for those that know him already they're shaking their heads like this like yeah like that. but for everybody else hey this is the place to come appreciate that so much no problem, again friend. this is 
Roland Barbecue Smoker Pros, Brasselton, Georgia, 770-866-2561. And Super Bowl weekend's here. Time to make some money. Take Go care. Bye-bye, sir.